Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. And let's get started. And it's our second annual He Is Risen DIY collaboration. For DIY number one, I'm going to begin with one of these wooden crosses from the Dollar Tree and it was gifted to me in a mystery box challenge from my last video. I didn't get to use it so now I'm going to use it and I'll just begin by filling in the little hole with some hot glue and using my silicone spatula to help it not seep through the other side. And now I'm going to go in with the Waverly Antique Wax and I'll mix it with a little bit of water, just a couple little sprays from my spray bottle and kind of lighten it up a little bit and I'll paint this whole cross with it, front side and back side. And now I'm going to go in with the Folk Art Home Deco White Wax and do a little bit of distressing on the cross. Now if you don't like to do distressing, you don't have to do it, you can leave it out, but I think it just gives it more character. So now I'm going to take this large tag, and it's an Easter tag, I like the shape of it, I think it's really cute, and I'm going to cover it with some paper towels, or a paper towel, and I'm going to saturate this with some water and let it sit for about 30 minutes or so. Let us do its magic. And now you can remove all the paper. It comes off pretty easily. You may have to just do a couple more little sprays of water if you need to. But for the most part, it all comes off really easily. And just wipe off all the excess glue. And look at this beautiful new clean slate. So here I'm gonna go in with the Waverly Chalk Pit in the color plaster, give it a full coat. And now with my same mixture of antique wax and water, I'm going to distress this piece and I'm going to do the whole thing, front side and back side, of course. I'm going to go along the edges and pretty much the whole piece, like this. So now here's nice and dry and I'm going to do a little bit of sanding on the edges. And now here's my cross, I'm ready to put everything together. So I'm taking the cross and I'm taking some of this ivy, it's like a wired ivy vine that I purchased off of Amazon and I'll have it in my Amazon storefront. For you guys if you're interested and I'm just going to crisscross it to the front of the cross just to give the cross a little bit of embellishments and get it to where I like it and so now I'm going to take this piece of burlap that I had on hand I don't know where I got it but I'm sure burlap is easy to find and I'm just going to add some hot glue to my tag place my burlap piece on top use my silicone spatula so I don't burn my hand and now I'm going to add my cross to the burlap piece and <laughs> see where I dropped it <laughs> oh my goodness I had glue everywhere so here I'm just going to press it down to get it nice and secure and now I'm going to go in with a few sprigs of boxwood from Walmart and I'm just going to add it to the four sides of the cross just to do a little bit more embellishing and give it that really cute look that high-end look so I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue and just poke them through the back there's still enough space because of the ivy vine that's on there. It, it kind of lifted it up a little bit and it made it easy to poke these small sprigs of boxwood in there. So to, just until it looks like this. And I'm gonna add a cute little bow to the very top of the cross. Make it look really cute, almost farmhouse now. And now I'm gonna go in with these really pretty beads that my sweet friend Dina sent me. And I'm just going to tie it to the tag because it's going to be a giant tag with a beaded garland and tassel. And here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal. And like I mentioned earlier, this video is a part of the second annual He Is Risen DIY collaboration. We did this last year, had a lot of fun. And this one is hosted by Leah over at Junker Necker DIY. And joining in is Becky from Simply Becky DIY, Brenda from Monner's Market, Connie from Connie Creative Creations, Dee from Designers Loft, Jackie from Jackie Burns Creations, Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY, and myself. And we all decided to get together again to celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for this true meaning of Easter because He is risen. So when you're done watching my video, please head on over to my description box and follow the playlist link and get all the spiritual inspiration you need for a spiritual Easter celebrating our Lord and Savior. For DIY number two, I'm gonna begin with one of these metal signs. They're brand new from the Dollar Tree from their Shore Living line. I think this is the summer line that they have. And this is a super cute galvanized metal piece. It has a starfish embellishment on it. And I'm just going to use my needle nose pliers 
to pop it off, I'm going to have to twist it off. And it'll just twist off real easily like this. Save it for another project, maybe for the summer. So now I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly Antique Wax and I'm just going to do a little bit of distressing and it does stay on there. And I'm just going to use my chunky chippy brush, go along all the edges and along the little scrolly parts. Almost looks like one of those ancient scrolls. <laughs> I think it's really cute. So while that's drying, I'm going to take this piece of muslin fabric that I bought at Walmart and I'm going to measure what I need. So I um, don't remember the measurements, but it is the measurement of the signs. So if you pick up one of these signs, just measure it. And yes, I do have a fabric measuring tape. <laughs> I just use this because it was closer to me. So here I'm just gonna take my scissors and do a couple little notches and just rip the piece of fabric off because I wanted to have that torn look. I think it's really cute. And I do also pull off a few strands on the sides. They're pretty tightly woven, but it's still you're still able to remove some of the strands. And I did this to all four sides until it looks like this. Now I'm happy with it. So now I'm ready to add it to my sign. So I'm going to make sure it fits. And I'm going to go in with some of the Mod Podge. And this one's in the satin finish. And now using my favorite brush for decoupaging, I'm using this Freeman makeup brush and you find it at Dollar Tree in the makeup section and I'm going to do a very generous amount of Mod Podge all over the front of this piece and make sure to get it all nice and covered and now I'm going to add my piece of muslin fabric and, and with all the torn edges make sure to press them down and go back over the whole piece with the Mod Podge and I don't add Mod Podge to the frayed ends because I want the frayed ends to look a little bit more organic. I'll just go over the rest of this piece of fabric and set it aside to dry. And once it's dry, then I'm going to go in with my chunky chippy brush again and add a little bit more of this distressing to the frayed ends of this piece. And I'll also do a little bit on the front of this piece as well just to give everything a cohesive look, make it look like it's been around a while, a couple thousand years maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but I'll just continue until I get it where I like it and make sure it's nice and dry. And here I cut out this image off of the Cricut Design Space and it just says he is risen in a really pretty font with these beautiful leaves, like uh, embellishments. And if you don't have a Cricut, there's no need to be discouraged. You can easily use stickers. They have beautiful stickers at Dollar Tree, at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Amazon, and also the little scrolly parts and other embellishments, stickers. You can easily create a look like this. You can also use rub-on transfers, and of course, you can handwrite it as well. Now here, I'm having a little difficult time getting my decal on there because it's always a little bit difficult to place decals on any surface that has the antique wax and this is sped up quite a bit but I wanted to leave it in here and show you guys that if you just take your time and just be persistent and persevere <laughs> perseverance <laughs> and use your scraper and use your fingers and just be gentle it works and the outcome is beautiful and it'll be all worth it in the end <laughs> definitely but just keep at it until you get it done. And look, here we are at the finish line. Woo! <laughs> just press everything down. And of course, I'll seal it all up with some more Mod Podge. Just to make sure nothing's going to come up. But look, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, it's really, really cute. So here's where I go in with the Mod Podge. And I just do another light coating on the top. Make sure everything's nice and secure. We live in Florida. And without this Mod Podge, those decals will be falling off in about a week <laughs> so make sure this is nice and secure long lasting and here it is look how adorable nice and dry so I'm gonna go in with some more of these beautiful wooden beads that my sweet friend Dina sent me and it's actually a part of a wooden bead Christmas tree garland and it's pretty long so you'll see these in quite a few of today's projects and here, after I tied it, I'm just taking the remainder of this chute twine and I'm just threading it back up the first few beads. 
that way there's no loose ends and I'll do the same thing to the other side like this and I'm just going to add a little dab of glue to press down the corners of these pieces of fabric and I'm going to leave this sign simple like this so here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal for DIY number three I'm going to begin with one of these framed shadow boxes from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use my scraper it's like a straight razor scraper and you get these in the tool bench section of the Dollar Tree and remove all the wording until it looks like this clean it up and now I'll go in with my Waverly antique wax and give this whole piece a nice distressing all the edges and just give it a bit of a rustic look and set it aside to dry and in the meantime I wanted to share with you this new light that I picked up off of Amazon and it makes weeding vinyl such an easier experience oh my goodness it's a total game changer and I'm only going to show you one little letter that I'm doing because I'm filming with one hand and weeding with the other but look at this a game changer for sure okay here is my frame nice and dry here is my newly weeded vinyl <laughs> thanks with the help of my light my new light my new favorite part of my craft room <laughs> so here i'm just going to simply add this onto my frame and i absolutely love this message jesus is my light and my salvation and again this one was available in the cricut design space as well and the message is absolutely perfect for easter because he is our salvation for sure and again, if you don't have a Cricut, don't be discouraged because you can easily achieve this look with tons of different stickers that are out there and maybe do a family gathering, a family activity and create some of these beautiful decor pieces with beautiful messages, beautiful scriptures, beautiful sayings, quotes. Yes, there's opportunities and the possibilities are just endless. So here I'm just going to adhere this burlap bow that I created and I'm going to secure the tails to the frame that way they're not flapping around and here I'm going to go in with one of these juncture scarves from the Dollar Tree I like the color of this I like the neutral color and here I'm just going to kind of roughly measure a piece that I can use for the inside of this and I'm actually going to utilize the fact that this scarf is pretty wrinkled because I wanted to have that kind of crinkly look from the other side so here I'm just going to add this piece that I cut and using my detailed glue gun I'm just going to add a bit of glue a nice thin bead of glue and secure this scarf in place and I'll do all four sides in the same manner until it looks like this and then I'll cover the whole piece with a nice piece of foam core board that I cut to wedge in there and look at that is perfect look how adorable so now I'm going to finish embellishing my bow and I'm just going to take a couple little tiny pieces of boxwood just to help embellish it and now I'll just add three tiny little yellow flowers that came off a greenery bouquet from the Dollar Tree and that is it super cute here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal if you're on Instagram please follow me there here is my QR code all you have to do is take your cell phone scan this code and it'll take you right to my profile and there's where I like to share stories posts reels all on a regular basis and I would love for you to join me there as well for DIY number four I'm going to begin with one of these mirrors from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go in with a little bit of window cleaner to give it a nice cleaning so get it nice and clean and using my Cricut, I cut out another vinyl decal and this one is of the Savior himself. And this again was available in the Cricut Design Space. So if you happen to have a Cricut Design Space subscription, this is available to you anytime. So here I'm just gonna place this on the very top center of my mirror and I'm just going to remove the uh, transfer tape. It comes up pretty easily. And now I'm going to go in with some of this folk art glass etching cream and it's a pretty thick cream I just use my paintbrush and I'm going to paint this on this whole piece of the Savior and basically the majority of this mirror so here I finally removed the frame because I do have to wash this off so I wait 15 minutes for the etching cream to do its magic 
and what it's actually doing it's actually chemically burning it into the glass into the mirror so here I washed it all off and I'm going to use my heat gun this is not necessary I'm doing this because I'm impatient <laughs> so I'm just drying this piece removing all this water to reveal the beautiful effect of the etching cream and my goal was to create a beautiful scene of the Lord himself after he is risen ascending back to heaven with all the clouds surrounding him what a beautiful sight that must have been oh my goodness I just can't even imagine but I'm absolutely trying to with this DIY so here it is nice and dry look at that I could probably go over it again but I kind of like the look where the clouds are you know partly there not completely solid so I'm liking it but if you want to do this and you don't like those gaps you can always go over it again and try some more so here I'm just placing my mirror back in my frame and now I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly antique wax again with my chunky chippy brush to give it a light distressing and I'll do the whole piece of the frame until I get it where I like it until it looks like this and now I'm going to go in with another vinyl decal and using my Cricut I cut out this piece that I created myself in the design space and it says look to the atonement of Jesus Christ to feel all his blessings I saw that quote on Pinterest and I thought I'm definitely going to add this to this piece because it is so true and I, I like the fact that it says look because this is technically a mirror so look to the atonement of Jesus Christ to feel all his blessings what a beautiful Easter message I just love this so I just go ahead and add this piece to the bottom part of my mirror and look at this oh my goodness this I'm going to treasure this piece for sure and now I'm going to go in with two pieces of this metal ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to snip off what I don't need and I'm going to adhere it with some E6000 and I'll just use my Dollar Tree little clips to keep it in place and I don't use any hot glue for this one because I allowed the E6000 to set overnight and now I'm going to go back in with the Waverly Antique Wax to go over the metal ribbon that way everything has a nice cohesive look and it goes well with the frame as well and this would be the only embellishment for this piece and here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal if you're on Facebook I have a pretty new crafting group and it's called family and budget friendly crafting world and I invite you to come and join us and share your crafty creations with us for DIY number five I'm going to begin with one of these MDF boards It's from the Dollar Tree I had removed all the paper and I'm going to go in with one of these wall stickers it's in the shiplap look and I'm just going to peel off enough of the backing to cover this MDF board and so I'll place it on there try to line it up with the grooves of this board and I'm just going to press it and snip off the excess and save the rest for another project like this so now I'm going to mold this piece on the sides and I'm going to use my finger sander to remove all the excess of this backing and now I'm going to go in with another decal that I created on my Cricut and this one says the resurrection is the source of great hope and this was another beautiful message that I found on Pinterest and I just had to recreate it myself because this message is very inspiring the resurrection is definitely the source of great hope and now I'm going to go in with some more of the Waverly antique wax because this piece needs a little bit of aging yeah it needs a little bit of a rustic look give, give it another bit of character and definition so I go over all the edges and I also do a light distressing where all the ship black features are on the piece until I get it to look like this look how beautiful oh my goodness so now I'm just going to top it off with a burlap bow and here I place it on this left side but then I change it and place it on the center and also added some pieces of greenery of course little bits of boxwood and a few tiny little purple flowers this time and that is it for this one and here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal and now for a super quick bonus DIY I picked up another one of these crosses and I painted it purple 
And now I'm taking one of these packs of Rabon transfers with all the encouraging positive words. And here I'm trying to see if I can fit this whole thing on the cross, but no, I come a little short as we all do. We all come short to the glory of the Lord. <laughs> How fitting. So instead I went ahead and fussy cut a bunch of the words that I like and I just rubbed them on. And here I am placing another piece of that beautiful beaded garland that my sweet friend Dina sent me. And now for a little bit more of embellishment, I'm taking three of these thumbtacks that I snipped off the little pieces off, the little points, and I'm just going to hot glue them in place on three of the points of the cross. And I'll just lightly distress the thumbtacks with the Waverly Antique Wax, and that is it for this one. Super quick and easy, and here's how it looks, and a closer look at the final reveal, which we are now at the final reveal. Let me know what you guys think. Well, I'd like to take a moment and thank Leah over at Junker Necker DIY for hosting this second annual He Is Risen DIY collaboration and all the wonderful ladies that also joined in. And please don't forget to head on over to my description box and click the playlist link because I'm sure these wonderful ladies have created some beautiful and very meaningful DIYs to celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for this Easter season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and if you want to see more definitely subscribe and until my next video stay healthy safe and strong and have a great great day bye bye and happy Easter because he is risen <laughs>